Um, sorry for the camera shot being not down here, um, but uh, I want to show you how to put together one of these cameras that um, is on the story that I've linked to this video. So, the story came first. So basically the uh, problem I had was that um, I've been toying with the idea of, um, not toying is the wrong word, um, I've written a whole load of software to back up uh, um, uh, 360 video content for virtual reality, virtual reality software, an app on Android, which is going to go to iPhone soon. Um, and, but what I needed was some uh, 360 content. Um, in fact, I'm just going to turn this fan. Yeah, so what I needed was some um, actual content. Now I've had the um, 360 cam um, up on all of forever on Kickstarter, and they've hopefully it's going to arrive October, which will make life a lot easier. But two things. Firstly, is the resolution with that isn't particularly high. So I, I thought well, I'd, I'd like to make a GoPro version. And the problem with the GoPro version is the cost. So um, a GoPro camera, a three series, um, which is probably the minimum, like a 1080p, 30 frames per second. Which a lot of people say, oh no, you need 60. Well, you know what? 30 frames per second in a good quality image. Um, as long as your head's moving at 60 frames a second which people don't understand. The video content at 30 is not too bad and it's fine. Most people don't notice it, so it, it, it's, it's all good. Um, but that was kind of my benchmark, a Hero 3, and they were coming in at about 170, or if you wanted the Silver Plus with the screen, about 240. That was fine, but you need six, and you need a mounting frame. And the whole thing was coming to like 1,400 pounds, 1,300 pounds, I think it was, yeah, 1,000 pounds for the cameras, for six cameras. Um, a 300 pound for a mounting frame, 350 I think it was, 450 euros was one of them um, from color.com. And obviously then you need the auto pano software which uh, is fantastic and which obviously I will be buying. So um, the other thing is um, my fiance works at uh, Safari Parks and I thought it was really nice to actually put these cameras in um, with some of the wild animals and she trains for example sea lions and so on so I thought it would be fantastic. I'm not sure I want to put a 1400 pound camera rig up, rig for an animal to eat. Well, to build one of these, um, so the total cost here for all the parts, so it's come to 215, 217 pounds. Okay, so 210 pounds for the cameras. So six of these. Now these are clones of the clone of the GoPro. Okay, um, and I bought one to test it, and um, I, I, you know. It, to me, the quality was it's slightly more saturated, and I, I, I have included a link to um, a test, a comparison between the standard GoPro, which has more natural colours, um, and these are a bit more, bit, bit more saturated, not much, um, a bit more saturated, which I actually find I quite like, but I'm sure the video purists out there might not be, might agree. But I did some tests outside with the camera on a single camera, and I was really pleased with it. Otherwise, that's, that's good enough for what I need. Um, it's not going to make me a video professional, maybe. Maybe, I think um, oh, uh, some After Effects on it, you know, to, to change the color balance and so on will probably solve that. But if the, the actual content sharpness, I think it was, was really spot on, so I'm quite happy to experiment. So anyway, getting to the point. So here's my camera. I've got one of these, and you see I've got a few more. Oh, I've, in, I've got six. Now, when they arrive, they come with a whole load of kit for mounting them to your bike, your crash on it, and so on. So they've all got this frame in them, okay? And if you notice, it's got the screw holes on either end, which made me think. Um, but they also come with uh, the, this version. Now, this, remember, this is 36 pounds with the camera. 10 pounds for this. I've got a 32 gigs SD card, which I got for a tenner, um, which is a class 10. But that will go down apparently to 30 meters. Um, so I can make a submersible version for nothing more. Okay. Now, I saw a submersible case without cameras. I think it's $1,500. Really? Now, um, hopefully that goes down to the abyss and film right, you know, really deep. But this will go to 30 meters for nothing. So that, well, that's why I'm playing with this. So, what I'm going to do now is, oh, here we, let's get back to the point. All right, so, I was going to make our 3D print some stuff, and we, we kind of we printed, but didn't quite work out. Um, and I, so I, I thought, well, all I need is a circle, to, to, two circles to screw them in with holes in, and... I went into Maplins and they suggested, which they suggested, um, what, what, 120 mil fan cover plate. So stop you putting your fingers in to hit the fan, which looked fantastic. When I put it on top, these holes here are the same width as the M6 screws, which I had to buy. 
okay, which are these. So um, I've also got these, these are Allen key ones, okay. Um, they're M M6 and they're 12 and a half mil, which I wanted to try to get smaller, but I couldn't. And also notice that the thread is metric, whereas I believe that the threads on here are imperial. Or there's a, there's a subtle difference in the thread. Now it does do up, and it doesn't go far, but it's not it's not ideal. I mean, it, it does work, trust me, it works fine. Um, but you probably end up using this, you probably chew the thread. So we'll look for a better alternative later on. Um, right, so then all you have to do is, and let's grab my other one, which I did, I've already mounted. This is the top camera. And again, showing more of the bits that you get with the camera. So you can see here, it's got a, a flexible arm. And all I've done is I've just mounted it onto the base because it takes the screws, which is hilarious. And this spacer here, which makes it actually level, um, just screws in nicely again into the thread. It just pinches on the metal metal bar. So this, uh, if ever I make a product out of this, which I'm hoping to, uh, once my, my experiments are done, this is not the product. But you can go to Maplins and for the price, the, these, these circular fan mounts were £2.45. Um, and the screws, I bought a screw fix, I bought like 50 or 100, I spent about 10 pounds, I don't even spend that, I spent 7 pounds for a bunch of washers, so I've got 5 washers on here as well because of the depth, because um, I couldn't get short screws. So again, this is, this is an experiment, this is not a product. Um, just really to see if the quality is up there. So, let's, let's show you how you mount these. Now, I'll, I'll put the camera, so you can see there's a clicker here. So if I pop that camera into there, and it just goes in, and I think I might turn it. No, I didn't turn it. Yes, I did turn it. Let me just turn it off. I don't want to waste my battery. Okay. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to, because I want to mount these. Is it more you can do this right? Two things. First of all, you obviously want to point it outwards, but this one is the base. So I want to obviously screw it onto the base, which I did when I did the first video. I got it wrong. So, so we turn it upside down and ideally and then I mount this here now I'm just going to pop that in and loosely screw it in place okay so it's, it's pinched it but it's not actually holding it properly yet and I'm, I'm going to go around so let's pop this camera back into here okay that one's in there again make sure I've got it the right way around it wouldn't matter it's just, it just means you've got to take it off and do it again um, Again, I've got five washers on this. I mean, depending on what screws you get, if you do do this, um, will depend how many you need. So again, let's turn it around so you can see this happening. Lots of noise going outside. Unfortunately, this is not a soundproof studio. It's just my office upstairs. Uh, if you, uh, while I'm doing this, uh, a little bit about me, I suppose. So a lot of you won't know me. So some people have seen me on my channel. I was quite involved in doing some stuff with the Amigas in the past, but my interest has got very heavily into virtual reality for, for a while now. And I was always interested. I, like most people, always fascinated by virtual reality, but the hardware was letting it down. And now the hardware's not letting it down. So we can actually really go to town on this. Right, let's do that there okay so that's that one pinched um obviously um the there is a hole um that's because this the my camera is recording the camera that goes here is recording this um it's partly it, um i've got some studio two studio lights here just to brighten it up a bit give a bit more natural color and shut the curtains and so on um but just give you some idea of the quality it, it, i i think i've tried to call it the outside i've tried using outside and i was Please, but then again, um, you know this down down to the your level of expertise, uh, um, whether you think it's good enough. But I think for the, uh, spending thirty six pounds to buy one of these things to test it, um, I think it's worth the money. I've got to be honest. I don't don't think anyone's going to quibble about that just to see if the quality is good enough for you. So I'm I'm just screwing these all into place now, as you can see. Let's get one of these. And you just have to pull them into place. Now, obviously, they're point. I mean, it's obvious they're pointing outwards. I shouldn't have to explain that. I did actually when I first did the video. I had to point them a couple of inwards until I've realised. Right. So then, what you want to do is you want to just they they do they are quite closely um, 
Uh, so you want to make them so they're obviously pointing directly out. And then just pinch them tight with an Allen key. Okay. Pinch them tight like that. Oh. Now this is, I'm going to have to do this up and later on because I've got to put my camera back in, which your, your, this view has been done. So now what we've got is we've got this camera. We've got a, it's, it's not a true 360 cam, obviously I haven't got one underneath. Um, later on I will put one, but because of this six pound frame, it's not really going to mount one because you obviously need your centre lens, like the top one is, to be through the centre. Um, um, so that's that I think. Uh, I will do, um, I will continue this, uh, my experiments, and I'll make it available to everyone. Um, but ultimately what I, what I hope to do is make a universal mounting that would allow you to fix these low cost cameras using the bits that are with it um, into mounted in various configurations that's that's the